The real reason why the Pittsburgh Steelers traded quarterback Kenny Pickett to the Philadelphia Eagles is now revealed. So, there's been a lot of rumors, a lot of speculation, a lot of reports going on by many people and even Pittsburgh Steelers insiders ever since quarterback Kenny Pickett was traded, kind of trying to explain the whole thing of why the Steelers moved off of him. So this video is me covering everything that was reported and all that speculation. And let's start off with Steelers insider Gary Dulak. He said the reason why the Pittsburgh Steelers traded Kenny Pickett was because he poorly handled the Russell Wilson signing. Ever since Russell Wilson got signed by the Steelers, Kenny Pickett kind of felt like the Steelers betrayed him and you could have kind of expect that maybe he asked for a trade. That's kind of the rumors that are going on. And Gary Dulac says that the reason why he was traded because he poorly handled the situation. He even says that it also came on the heels of Pickett's behavior last season when he refused to dress as the emergency third quarterback versus the Seattle Seahawks in week 17. These are his reports. So if you remember all the way back, Kenny Pickett, he was dealing with an ankle injury late towards the end of the season. And that Seattle Seahawks game, many fans were saying, oh, he didn't dress in that game because he was still injured. But a lot of the reports were saying that he actually didn't even want to dress. He just wanted to be inactive. He knew he wasn't going to play anyway. So what's the point of being in uniform if you know you're not going to play at all? Usually the Steelers or any other team, if you have three quarterbacks on the roster, if you're inactive, you could still dress as the emergency quarterback. But Kenny Pickett did not want to do that because he knew Mason Ruff was going to start the game, Mitchell Trubisky was a backup, and he wouldn't go in. So he's kind of showing poor leadership in that category, and that's what Gary Dulac is saying. So this comes on the heels of that. It's Pickett, he obviously didn't handle the situation with Russell Wilson greatly either. either. It was once again reported by Gary Dulac that after news broke about the Pittsburgh Steelers signing Russell Wilson, the day after the Steelers agreed to sign Wilson, Pickett canceled a scheduled out-of-town workout in the offseason with his teammates, his wide receivers, and this has been confirmed to him by multiple sources. So, obviously, he did not handle it well, and he felt as though the team kind of betrayed him for some reason. All these reports don't really paint a pretty picture of Pickett's attitude and mentality as it looks like he didn't even want to compete with Russell Wilson and thought he deserved the starting job after just 25 games with only 13 interceptions, I mean 13 touchdown passes and also 13 interceptions. You would think a quarterback like that would come in and try to earn the starting job. He was obviously talked about all offseason by Mike Tomlin, Omer Khan, that there's going to be quarterback competition. He already knew there's going to be quarterback competition. They said it many times that they're going to bring in people to compete with him and he won't be handed the job. There's going to be a quarterback competition. It was already known. We all knew this. We knew that they're trying to trade for maybe Justin Fields or maybe even sign Kirk Cousins, Ryan Tannehill, or whoever. We already knew they're trying to bring in a quarterback. We knew there's going to be quarterback competition. So him expecting the starting job just didn't make sense when we all knew that was not going to be the case. So that's apparently what it was. He expected that there was going to be a competition, but he felt as though he deserved the starting job allegedly. But the thing about this that just doesn't make sense is because he is heading to the Philadelphia Eagles in the trade. What does he expect? Does he expect to be the starter in Philadelphia? No, there's really no chance. He had a better chance of winning the starting job with the Steelers and beating out Russell Wilson than beating out Jalen Hurts in Philadelphia. So him being traded to Philadelphia, he's still going to be the backup quarterback. I guess he just wanted out of Pittsburgh and this trade happened so quickly that really he couldn't gather his thoughts about it. Who knows? But he had, a, he had a better chance of being a starting quarterback in Pittsburgh than being traded to the Philadelphia Eagles. And now he's going to be behind Jalen Hurts, who's always in the MVP discussion. So this trade just really doesn't make sense if he wants to compete for a job. Mark Caboli, he also reports basically that this trade insinuates that the Steelers have this mentality. Basically what Mike Tomlin has always said. We want volunteers, not hostages. And it just goes the Steelers, shows that the Steelers' way is still going on in this category. Because he reports this. 
And obviously, him reporting this means that Kenny Pickett was not happy in his situation with Steelers. So it's another Pittsburgh Steelers insider basically saying that Kenny Pickett was not happy with how the Steelers kind of treated the situation with him at the quarterback position. And even him being benched late towards in the season, like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, him not wanting to dress up and him wanting to be inactive and not be the emergency third quarterback, it just doesn't make sense. Because Kenny Pickett, you lost your starting job to Mason Rudolph, a third string quarterback, someone who's obviously been in this league a while, but had no reps. So if he comes in with zero reps and he outplays you, why would you expect to be the starting quarterback the next week after him leading your, the team to the playoffs? There's no reason for you to expect to be a starter and still be kind of frowned upon upon the situation because of it. Because Mason Rudolph obviously earned the fans over, even when the fans were chanting Mason Rudolph's name, the crowd was going crazy for Mason Rudolph in the Pittsburgh Steelers home game. The camera pans to Kenny Pickett, and he has the biggest frown on his face, and it just seems as though he was uninterested about the situation. And even in post-game interviews and press conferences, you look at what Kenny Pickett's attitude showed, and he did not handle the situation greatly either. If you remember, these were the exact quotes by him in a press conference late towards the end of last season. He was asked if he learned anything from sitting out watching the game, watching the quarterbacks play, and he says, no, I did not. So, that's basically his attitude. He could have gave an answer, a nice solid answer saying, yeah, Mason Ruff has played really good. I've learned a lot just seeing him play and things of that nature. Just a normal response to kind of keep your media rep going and kind of not promote or not downfall your quarterback or not call it your team. But no, he just gave a basic answer and he just did not show great attitude in this kind of way. So the people that you always hear in the sidelines calling out the quarterback, calling out Kenny Pickett, was Deontay Johnson, George Pickens, on the sideline, always going off. In interviews, even late towards the end of the season, both those wide receivers said that they wanted Mason Rudolph to return as the quarterback. If you lose the locker room, then you basically lose your starting job. Because if he expected to be the starter at quarterback this season, and not Russell Wilson or whoever they would bring in, but the teammates that you have, your wide receivers, your weapons... The people who are with you every single day, they don't want you to be the starting quarterback and they want someone who only played in three games with them to be the starter. What makes you think you deserve, deserve that job? Obviously, they know you're not the guy, but you have this mindset that you want to still be the guy. It just doesn't make sense. And apparently, this is how Kenny Pickett handled the situation. Once again, these are all reports from insiders and kind of rumors going on, allegedly. So, this is the reason why Kenny Pickett basically got traded and Omar Khan got some value back quickly for Kenny Pickett and this trade happened really quickly and was surprising. Also, let me just give a quick update on Justin Fields. As of right now, the Pittsburgh Steelers only have quarterback Russell Wilson on the roster, meaning that there's an opening for the Steelers to sign a player at the quarterback spot, whether that be Ryan Tannehill or even trade for a quarterback. Maybe the Steelers now go out and look at the Bears and trade for Justin Fields, have him sit behind Russell Wilson for a season, and then take over because Russell Wilson's only on a one-year contract. There's been a lot of reports going on that the Bears are not kind of shopping a high price for Justin Fields anymore, and no team is budging on it because they see the Bears situation and they know that they're going to draft Caleb Williams probably anyway, so they don't. They could just wait it out, wait for them to draft a quarterback, and then give up a third, fourth, fifth round pick for Justin Fields. It's also been reported by many people that teams around the league really don't see Justin Fields as a high talent quarterback that's going to make a huge difference, which is kind of downfalling his value in terms of what the Bears could get back. Now with the price of Justin Fields dropping. The teams rumored that were in talks with Justin Fields this whole time were the Steelers Eagles. Those are the two teams consistently in the mix for Justin Fields. And now that the Eagles got Kenny Pickett from the Steelers, who what team is really available for trading for Justin Fields? When you look around the league, what team really needs a quarterback? Not really any. Other than maybe the Raiders. The Raiders are the only team really I could think of. So now 
that the Bears probably don't want to keep Justin Fields as a backup quarterback. Why would they want to keep him? They could get value back from him. And they're not going to pick up his fifth-year option. He's probably not going to resign if he is a backup quarterback. So if they could get some value back, the Steelers still need a quarterback of the future that's young, developing, and Justin Fields could be that guy. So his price is dropping, and now the Pittsburgh Steelers are now in the need for a quarterback, and Justin Fields could still be in the mix for the Steelers. As many reports are saying, the Steelers have contacted the Bears late last night. Those were the p reports that I was seeing on social media yesterday. So with that being said, this is the update on Kenny Pickett and why he was traded to Eagles so quickly, him not handling the situation well, and the Steelers not wanting hostages, wanting volunteers. And also the update on Justin Fields reportedly being in the mix with the Pittsburgh Steelers once again after this Kenny Pickett trade. So with that being said, let me know your thoughts down in the comments below on this topic of Kenny Pickett being traded, your thoughts on him not handling the situation well, and you, do you still want Justin Fields on the team, or do you believe we should go just sign Ryan Tannehill? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below on this topic. And also, make sure you subscribe to the channel, and make sure you turn notifications, make sure you click that bell down below, so you can get notified with every single news about the Pittsburgh Steelers this offseason. This offseason has been a lot going on with trades, signings, and I've covered it all, and I'll continue to do so. Until the next video, I'll see you guys all later. I'm out. Peace.